Nice, we've covered all of the paper and pencil partial derivative theory that I wanted to get across. Up next, we're going to start using that theory to start calculating partial derivatives for specific machine learning equations. Before we get there, let's do three exercises to test generally how well we've understood um, partial derivatives um, of multivariate equations. So there won't be any numbers, but you'll still be able to see variables and piece them together and um, go from an original set of multivariate equations to the partial derivatives, all of the partial derivatives of those various multivariate equations. All right, so specifically, let's find all the partial derivatives of y for all three of these exercises. So all of the equations for exercise one are here, all of the equations for exercise two are here, and all of the equations for exercise three are here. So now's a great point to pause the video because I'm gonna go over the solutions now. All right, question one is up here. So y is a function of u and v, and u is a function of x, v is a function of z. So here's a nice diagram. I recommend you create those yourself so you get a clear picture of the relationships between our variables, how they chain together. So uh, this is relatively easy. So for del y, del x, we have this um, uh, chain here. And so del y, del u, times del u, del x, um, these u's will cancel out and it allows us to progress along that whole chain there. And then same thing along this other chain here. Um, it's the same as here, except we have v's instead of u's. For question two here, quite similar to question one, we've got the same y as a function of u and v and the same u as a function of x. But now we have a second multivariate function in addition to this first one here. So the second multivariate function has v as a function of x and z. Let's rely on our handy diagram here to keep everything straight. So this y u x um, chain is the same as before, but now on our v chain here, with v as the intermediate variable, this now is a multivariate function that branches out. So for calculating del y del z, this is the same as it was before. Um, so we're not dependent upon x um, at all, and so it's the same as we had in question one, del y del v times del v del z. Now for calculating del y del x, things are more interesting because we have to account for x this way on this chain as well as this way here and then add them together. So um, we've got both of them here um, and you just add them up. All right, and the final question. In this one, it's an interesting one. Y is a function of three variables, u, v, and w. And then u, v, and w are themselves all a function of x. So relying on our handy diagram here again, we have y is dependent on u, v, and w, and each of those variables is dependent on x separately. So in this case, del y del x is actually equal to the full derivative um, of, of y and x. Uh, just an interesting side point to note there. Um, and then to calculate the full derivative here, um, we have um, for each of these three tracks, we have a separate term. So u here, v here, and w here. Um, and other than that, we're all set. So we just have uh, del y del u, del u del x to get us along this branch. And then same kind of thing for the v branch and the w branch. That's it.